If you know, you know now. The fight between Gennady Golovkin and Deryachenko was a great fight. However, I had Deryachenko winning that fight. I rewatched the fight and I thought Deryachenko won either eight rounds to four. And you got to credit Gennady Golovkin for a knockdown as well. But Deryachenko still win or seven rounds to five in favor of Deryachenko with a Golovkin knockdown, which means Deryachenko won by one point. That being said, I believe Deryachenko got robbed of his hard work. It was his second chance to win a title. First time versus Daniel Jacob, which was also a close fight. So do y'all think it's a robbery if Deryachenko won eight rounds to four to his favor? Now, does that call a robbery? Drop your comments below on that. And I believe he almost beat up Gennady Golovkin worse than Canelo did the second time because he applied a lot of pressure. He wasn't fighting Gennady Golovkin long range like Canelo Alvarez was. He was fighting him more in the inside. Now, obviously, Canelo had more power and a little more speed. And even though Canelo Alvarez's upper body movement is on point as always, however, Devryachenko, his head movement and his footwork is on another level. I mean, his footwork was giving Gennady Golovkin a lot of problems, the way he was taking a lot of angles, and he landed the most punches that ever been landed on Gennady Golovkin. And Devryachenko made Gennady Golovkin go from Mexican style to Muhammad Ali style. He went from going forward to going backward most of the night. He went from going on the hunt to being hunted. He was holding for dear life in the 12th round. He got hurt to the body multiple times. Even though he was the power puncher, Devryachenko hurt him to the body multiple times, caught him to the head with clean punches multiple times. So I had Devryachenko winning. And you got to keep in mind, as far as total punches, you got to score more for the power punches than a jab. Like I said, Gennady Golovkin, what, what was he trying to be tonight? A boxer? He was throwing the jab all night. Now, I don't got no problem with that. But when you claiming you Mexican style and you a power puncher and you this killer and now all you throwing is jab, it don't say too much about your skill. You know, like that don't speak too much of your skill. All you have is a jab. That's what kept you in the fight. And it was the same case for the Canelo Alvarez rematch. And I believe Canelo could have fought better in the rematch. However, all that Mexican talk I'm more Mexican than you. You don't fight Mexican style and all that. Canelo was trying to prove a point. But if Canelo was moving how he wanted to, you know, like Devryachenko tonight, obviously he don't have the footwork that Devryachenko has because Canelo is like almost stuck in the mud, but he does have good hand speed. However, if Canelo Alvarez moved around at the right time and pressured Gennady Golovkin at the right time, he will have performed better but he was stationary the whole night moving forward and that gave Gennady Golovkin a better chance and he still whipped Gennady Golovkin. So Gennady Golovkin got exposed because he kept promoting Mexican style. Now he can't even use that. They promoted the hell out of Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo and he ended up losing that fight. Then now he's ducking Charlo, Andrade and every other big name other than Canelo. So he only want to cash out. That's why his brand been exposed and no he is not one of the best 25 fighters of the past 25 years that got exposed and from Jim Lambley mouth his biggest fan he stated if Gennady Golovkin can't beat Canelo in the rematch his career is a failure now he even lost to Devryachenko after that in my opinion and before the fight, he said he was a little scared. Now, Deryachenko beat Gennady Golovkin in the amateurs and in the pros, in my opinion. So that's why Deryachenko is being avoided. I believe he will give a lot of fighters at the top level a hard time. I'm talking about the likes of Charlo and Andrade. I will favor them. However, he could cause an upset. And I believe he would give Canelo Alvarez a hard fight because of the way he fights and the way he takes certain angles in the inside but it would be a great fight i would like to see him versus canelo as well 
That being said, Gennady Golovkin, he a good boy. But these welterweights that he's fighting now, they bad boys. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? So Gennady Golovkin, we all know what he's gonna do is not sign the contract and wait to cash out versus Canelo. Now, will the zone allow him to do so? I believe so. And the reason I say that is because they didn't even mention Demetrius Andre during the post fight interview with Golovkin. And Golovkin was offered the Andre fight multiple times and turned it down. The WBC ordered Charlo to fight Gennady Golovkin and he turned it down. So it ain't no secret. And how the zone was commentating during the fight, it tells it all. They were so biased toward Gennady Golovkin. Obviously, Deryachenko is not signed with the zone. He signed with Al Heyman. So they didn't want Deryachenko to come beat their cash cow or the apple car and take the bill and go to Al Heyman, where they already invested a lot of money on Gennady Golovkin. So I seen it coming a mile away. And I even told y'all before the fight, Gennady Golovkin will lose the fight. However, he will win on the scorecard. And that's exactly what took place. That being said, it was a close fight. It was a good fight. However, I had Deryachenko winning. So drop your comments. How'd y'all score the fight? And will Gennady Golovkin grow some cojones and fight the likes of Andre and Charlo? If not, will the zone allow him to fight Canelo and wait it out, even though they paid him a lot of money? We'll see. The zone looking like they want to push for that fight. And as they should, because... That's the big money fight for Gennady Golovkin, but I don't even think the zone will benefit that much. I feel like people are uninterested in the Canelo trilogy, and Canelo himself don't even seem to be interested. And he might take on the fight just to get paid and knock Gennady Golovkin out. I believe he will stop him to the body in the third fight if they do have a trilogy match. But like I said, Canelo don't want Gennady Golovkin to eat off of him, but he's going to eat off Gennady Golovkin as well. And since Golovkin, he almost stuck in the mud, he have no other choice but to fight a Canelo Alvarez because if he fights anybody else, he will definitely get exposed. So Gennady Golovkin looking to go all out and cash out. And that's the smart plan for Gennady Golovkin at this point of his career. However, his career is a failure, like Jim Lampley stated, because he ducked the fighters that could have elevated his career when he was more so toward his prime, right? And that's the likes of Andre Ward, Lara, and the list goes on and on. And now, he don't want to fight the likes of Andre and Charlo and just want to cash out on Canelo for good reasons. We all know, and we saw the reasons last night, right? That being said, Gennady Golovkin was overhyped by old media, and now his career is a failure because they were comparing him to the likes of Hagler claiming he could beat Hagler. They were claiming that he possibly will go down as the greatest middleweight of all time. But he can't even defeat a Canelo Alvarez. He can't even convincingly beat a Jacob or a Deviachenko, where people ain't saying he got they robbed them fighters. So we all know what time it is with Gennady Golovkin is exposed to him. So he definitely got exposed in my opinion because if you rate him as an all-time great, he definitely is not. And he got booed after the fight for a reason. All them fans were cheering Gennady Golovkin. But they booed him after the fight because they truly thought he lost the fight. And I believe he did. That being said, drop your comments below. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't listen to these casual fans. Check out my new show, Split Decision. It will be dropping tomorrow at noon. And that's Monday. Every Monday, I will be hosting it and dropping it. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for the cookout and follow my man Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. All these links will be in the description box below. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. And to be continued on the next episode of IKE TV. Peace and we out.